here we are at the greenhouse. We are inside the greenhouse today, and I think today's the big day we're gonna try and get everything done. It's not very windy. Um, if that changes, we won't be able to get the plastic on. But I am going to try to get this down no matter what. Uh, my dad's going to level this out with the skid steer because there are some pretty uneven spots. He won't be able to get all the way to the edge. So I might have to use like a, a tiller that you can, like a garden tiller. And then maybe like a rake for all these weeds. So right now I'm just going to be getting everything out so he can get the skid steer in here. And then dad has two people working for him today. So hopefully they can help us get the plastic on because we need as many hands as we can get for that. So let's see how this day goes. So I got most of the junk out. I can't carry the table out because I need another person. Um, but I did carry the goat stand and all that stuff right there in that pile. Now I'm trying to chop the weeds along the edge so it doesn't poke the plastic if we get it on today. Okay, so I'm going along the edge, getting everything off the wood piece. Um, little grasses don't matter, but if it's a lot, I do pull it out. That wasn't a lot, um, but um, if there's like a stem, like a root end, I guess I should say, I just step on it because those are really the only hard thing. Most of the sticks along here are soft because we got a lot of rain, so that's good. Example, this one, I just step on it and it breaks. That way it's not a danger because it's not sticking straight up, being really pokey. So I got most of the sticks and stuff from right next to the edge so it won't poke the plastic, hopefully. And um, there is a lot of brush really close over here that if we have time, I'll take that somewhere over there um because we're also gonna try and get the black stuff on the ground today um if i don't have enough help for this or we don't get to it then i'll just do the floor so um ideally i'll get the brush out no matter what before i do that but i just wanted to get away from where we would put the plastic if we get to that Hopefully we will. And then there is some more glass I'm probably going to pick up right now. Um, I'm going to go get a bag to do that real quick and blow my nose because it's kind of cold. Um, I'm hot in a sweater, but I'm also cold. So I'm going to go take care of that and get a bag and I'll be back. you look at that plastic is on um i didn't really get a lot of footage because of everyone working hard and i was super nervous i think everyone was a little stressed but anyway my dad also got the ground flattened with the skid steer and i started laying out my tarpy stuff so that weeds don't grow under my greenhouse benches so right now I am using these landscape staples. Um, these are only four inch. This is what they look like. Um, they're working pretty good. I will say that longer might be better, but for this job, I think I like the 
short ones decently. I mean, they do this job. Now, like at the mum farm where I worked, um, the longer ones were a necessity. So, this is how far we are right now. What we just did, well, I got here later. Um, someone that was working for my dad today um, started taking this, my little greenhouse, down. So we're gonna use all the parts. As you can see, we're lining them up. But um, as soon as we got the plastic done, over on the big greenhouse at my grandparents. He came over here and started disassembling this. As you can see, there are the pieces. Um, and there's some pieces as well. Um, anyway, I was really, hang on, I gotta yell at my dog. Panda, no chasing ducks. Anyway, um, he started taking this down um, I was still laying down the black flooring, like the floor cover in my greenhouse, and I just used the whole roll today, as you'll see probably before this clip. But anyway, I was doing that while he was doing this, then when I got here, I started helping him. Um, so I'm thinking I might use these pallets, they're kind of connected. I might use them for my greenhouse benches. Uh, we'll see. These are the backs of them, so on the other side there's a few more boards, as you can see. Um, then we have these 2x6, two 2x6, by six two by six. yeah, I think that's what they are. Um, I might make my chamber box out of, which is a box you put your younger, um, seedlings or plugs in inside the greenhouse so it's like a greenhouse inside a greenhouse double protection for your plants um so if i do that i'll probably make a video of how i do it uh then this wire or this cat hog panel and cattle paneling we're probably just going to put with the rest of ours and use it how we normally would use it if we need it then let's see what else oh i think i'll be able to use these most of these screws we just undid um then this black thing i took from inside the house it's got rained on a few times i think i'm going to use it for some organization in the greenhouse um it's upside down right now, so it can be flipped over and it'll be more usable. Then I have some greenhouse tape, some pots my mom got on sale at Dollar General. Um, so those might be for her. I might just fill those with what I have this spring for our house. And then these are all pots. Okay, I'm not going to lie. People gave them to me. And, like, I can't sell this. And I kind of don't even want to use it. Um, it's been chewed on by squirrels, I think. And that is going to be hard to clean. Then this one was ours. It was really kind of expensive, but it got beat up from the wind. Then this is like an old baking canister. That might be something I would use. Um... Kind of junky, you know, these, it's just, you're gonna have to sort through, you know. I mean, I guess I could put stuff in them, but I'd have to clean them. But on the bright side, I could only count my cleaning work because these were all free. So it'd be a cheaper thing for customers to buy. I don't know if they would even buy it. But that's just an idea. 
Then I do have these two by fours from this junky table I made back when I made this. Um, we'll see if I even want to do that. Then we have this little table. I don't know if I would use it in the big greenhouse. Um, then we have our door, the frame for the back wall. Anyway, these concrete blocks I was going to make a bed out of. I am going to try to make greenhouse table legs with and then hopefully put the pallet top on top of the concrete blocks. Then over here, we have some pots I used this year. That's kind of gross. Um, but that's what those are. So they might be usable, I don't know yet. Um, these two boards are really nice. They're connected together. So I might just use them as a greenhouse tabletop. I don't know if I want my greenhouse to look like a million different tabletops. I'm trying to carry this board while holding the camera. But we're just going to see. Um, next weekend, I plan on working in the greenhouse again. Weekends work best for this project when I can get a whole um, day's work of working on it. Because that makes me feel more productive. Like, I got felt so productive today. I have gotten a lot <coughs> done. Um, that's my brother's duck coop he just made. We'll go look at that in a minute. But if you can see the corner, we're getting our new barn built over there. Um, subscribe so you don't miss when that video comes. It'll just be a time lapse of all the different clips I've took in along the way of it being built and prepared, I guess. So... This is kind of cute. I mean, he used all recycled things. He is, let's see, he's 14. So my brother Isaiah made this. So that's what it looks like. And that, I'm not sure what that says. Oh, nice and cozy on the inside. I think that's our old barn wood from the barn we tore down, and we're building the new one in replacement of it. Um, but yeah, that is pretty cool. All repurposed material. He might have had to buy some of the screws. But anyway, that's kind of a greenhouse day because we worked on the little greenhouse that I built like a year or two ago. And then we worked on the greenhouse that I'm gonna be doing my business in this spring. So I'm gonna start the journey of showing you guys how I prepare for that, how I'm gonna finish the ground, the tables, the ordering, the plugs, and the getting everything to work right for heating, watering, all that stuff. Marketing. Hey, Panda, stop. Panda! No! Sorry. Panda! No! Oh, the dogs are being bad. The electric collars aren't working anymore. They used to have, like, a boundary so they couldn't get the animals. But you'll also get to see my, um, my pool arrangement. I'm going to flip this pool put some blocks under it so it's a little higher and it won't sink down because of the dirt. Then I'm going to put like green stock containers on top in the little pool. So they'll be up here, but they're the Dollar Tree version of green stock. Um, at least I think that's what they're called. Then I'm thinking of putting my um, greenhouse sign behind it and then flowers will be hanging over like mid late spring we shall see how that turns out but i'm excited for that and then i also need to we need to disassemble that and then excited about the concrete block idea but fall is here super glad we got the plastic on before it got cold 
and before windy season well we have had windy days and it's getting windy right now but it was not very windy i was very scared and nervous about the greenhouse um plastic because it's a 30 foot wide by 90 um foot greenhouse or long greenhouse and it was very Anxious. What's the word? I was very anxious about it. Um, it felt like it was never going to get done and that it was impossible. Not impossible, but something was going to go wrong. I was kind of had that in my mind. Something was going to go wrong, but it didn't. And I'm thankful for everyone who helped me. Um, my mom, my dad, Derek, Caleb. My brothers and sisters, Rachel, Isaiah, Caleb, and Roy and Darius, my little siblings, even helped me. So, big thanks to them. Um, they helped a lot and did some jobs that I was too scared to do, like climbing up because I'm scared of heights really bad. Hopefully, since we've done it once, I will be able to help with the heights part next time we redo it. Um, this is my comfrey. It's doing really good. It kind of died back. And then, you know that. I need to put some kind of mulch on this stuff. This is some lavender. And that's lavender that died. But, yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you all consider liking and subscribing to follow my greenhouse journey.